kind of have not be relatives and be watch us go op me huh welcome back to the channel relatives hope everyone's having a wonderful day um we're back again with uh family history um this time this particular family history is going to be also a show and proof um because like i said in the last video that we did for uh Maryland, Delaware, uh, that this uh, family history actually ties to my ancestry. All right. So uh, this time around, relatives, we will be doing the Calumman family, as you can see on the screen. Um, so let's get into it. So we got James Calumman, born, say, June 1695, may have been identical to James and Mulatto who was about 17 years old on April 14, 1713, when Richard Marsham of Prince George's County devised him his freedom at age 35. He was listed in the June 15, 1713 Prince uh, George's County Inventory of Marsham Estate. Uh, so it goes on to say Negroes, one mulatto man Robin, seven years to serve, age 27, 16 pounds, and we went over Robert Pearl already, so these uh, ancestries are going to tie into each other. One mulatto boy, Jimmy, um, 17 years to serve, age 18, 20 pounds. So that's uh, James Callum, and they're talking about Jimmy. And then um, goes on to say here, Robert Pearl's sons, Thomas and James Pearl, were called the kinsmen of James Colmore, when they approved the inventory of his Prince George's County estate, which was filed by their brother Daniel Pearl on uh, June 23rd, uh, 17, and on August 17, 1768, Daniel Pearl sold a 13-year-old slave named Rob, um, who had formerly been the property of James uh, Cal Calmore, late of Prince George's County, deceased by uh, Frederick County Bill of Sale of August 17, 1768. Then it shows you can see the land records. Then it says he may have been the ancestor of. Okay. So if you remember in my previous uh, show and prove video, I did the Pearl family. All right. So these are the family members of the Pearl family that I'm tied to. And now we're going to list off... Um, the uh, ancestors of uh, the Calumman line, okay? And then I'll show you my ancestry that'll uh, correspond with this, all right? So it says, uh, Moses Calumman, head of a Frederick County household of a uh, free white male and two free white females, okay? Dodge the hijacks. Then it says, John, head of a Frederick County household of nine other free in 1790, and then it's going to say uh, Zelpha Calumman Mary Thomas Pearl, uh, March 5th, 1791, Frederick County, Maryland, Bond. Then we got Mary Calumman, Mary Benjamin Lett, son of uh, Solomon and Jemima ba Banneker Lett, January 5th, 1809, Frederick County, Virginia, Bond. Then you got Benjamin Calumman married Elizabeth Pearl, September 2nd, 1813, Frederick County, Maryland, Bond. All right, so let's go over to my ancestry, and we're going to uh, find these people, okay? All right, so first of all, we have uh, Benjamin Calumet, okay, and Elizabeth Pearl, or Pearl. All right, so let's go back. Here's Benjamin Calumet and Elizabeth Pearl. All right, so here they are. All right, let's go back. Um, so Benjamin Calumman's parents was Moses Calumman and Henrietta Pearl. Okay. So let's see if we see them in this. Uh, let's see. So they might not be on this one, but I just wanted to show you that, uh, that's how the line goes. Um, but we do have, uh, Zelpha Calumman and Thomas Pearl. So here she is, Zelpha and Thomas Pearl, okay? They are right here. 
And um, so Henrietta Pearl was married to Moses Callaman. And Moses Callaman's parents was John Callaman and Margaret E. Welch. All right, so I'm going to click on this real quick. We can check it out. All right, and I also wanted to show the picture of the family so you can see. See if we can blow this up a little bit. So these are the Calumet, uh people here. I believe, if I'm correct, uh, this is John. So actually, this man is this man's father. Okay, they are Negro. Um, no, you know, I know how they look, but they're Negro. All right, she just wanted to show that. So let's go back. Um, let's see here. Let's go back a little bit more. Let's go back to the uh, ancestry line here. But as you can see, um, the Calaman and the Pearl family are intertwined with each other through marriage. Um, so the original James Calaman that they have on there, I'm still doing some research on him because he didn't really show up immediately. So I'm still uh, doing some digging on him. Um, but yeah, this is uh, my genealogy here that I'm showing. So Moses Calaman and Henrietta Pearl had Benjamin Calaman. And then uh, Benjamin Calaman uh, married um, um, Alexander Pearl's daughter. And they had Moses Calaman, who married Rebecca Norman. And I went over the Norman family history already. And I did my show and prove on them. And um, they had uh, Harriet Calaman. And she actually is um, my uh, second great grandmother. Okay. Let's go back. And then she married uh, Harlan Early. Um, and then their kids was uh, Blanche Early and Lucy Early, which is my uh, great grandmother. Okay. So not a real long show and prove on this one. Not a real long uh, ancestry um, for this particular line. But I just wanted to show again um, how this uh, free African Americans website actually can help you. Uh, you know, start to put some pieces together with your relatives. So um, to everyone out there who, you know, is doing, trying to do genealogy, you know, I know ancestry and, and all that costs money, but it's worth it. Um, you know, you ain't got to get the most expensive thing that they have. Start out with the, you know, the cheap version of it and just, you know, get something going. Um, and even family search is, uh, is free. So, you know, you can even start there. But uh, I'm going to do a video on uh, my family search um, genealogy, what I found in there, because it's a little bit um, different. Um, some of it does match up on family search, but they, like, take you so far back. It's, it's, it's kind of unbelievable, but, um, again... Um, don't have an opinion on it one way or the other. It is what it is. So uh, one of these videos, maybe the one after this, I'll uh, show you that, that uh, how that worked out for me and what I found. All right, relatives. So let me stop screen sharing. Um, again, not a real long video. Just wanted to come and drop a little bit of information. Uh, show, do another show and prove. Um, and let's see something here. Let's go back for just a second. I want to see. Uh, let's see. So after this, the next family we're going to be getting into is the Cambridge family. Um, and they actually got a picture here of these gentlemen. Um, 
All right. So yeah, our next uh, family we'll do on the Maryland Delaware side will be the Cambridge family. So um, again, if that's showing up in your genealogy, definitely tune in for that. All right, relatives. So I um, want to love to everybody out there that supports the videos. I really appreciate everybody um, as always taking the time to uh, come in and watch the videos and the support. Really appreciate it. And um, like I always say, I will see everyone next time. Later.